current density limitation at the So these electrodes have to carry the fault current and dissipate it to the ground. So what happens when the fault current gets close to, to the ground? The temperature at the electrode increases. As the temperature around the electrode increases, the soil around it starts evaporating the moisture content. We all know that the conduction in soil is mainly due to the moisture content because this conduction is electrolytic conduction. And as the moisture content reduces the resistance of an electrode keeps on increasing. So at some point of time when the moisture content is very very low or absent, the resistance of the electrode becomes infinite. This is as good as some conductor being cut. So we call this as failure of the earthing electrode or the earthing system. So we should prevent this from happening. So in order to prevent this failure of the earth electrode, the current density in a particular electrode should not increase beyond certain values. BS7430 gives a formula for this current density. Similarly, I3142 also gives a formula for this current density. So you can see this is the formula given by BS so where J is equal to 10 to the power of 3 into root 57.7 divided by root T. Rho is the resistivity of the soil in ohm meter. T is the duration of the part in second. We can take T as 1 second. J we get the current density in amps per meter square. Now, for example, consider a soil with 200 ohm meter resistivity and the fault for one second. We get from this formula the current density as 537 amps per meter square. And this is per electrode. Similarly, from IEEE 142 also you get the you get the current density and we get as 1209 as per electrode but I prefer to use BS7 region. Now you have to observe one thing here. So what does this 537 amps per meter square be? Suppose you have a fault level of 40 ka see so actually the actual fault may be around 30 kiloamps and all the 30 kiloamps does not enter the neutral through the earth electrode some of them only enters through the earth electrode and a major portion enters through the earthing uh, conductors so the fault current which enters through the earth only enters the earth electrode. So for a 30 k fault you can say around 1 to 2 k may be the fault current which enters through the earth electrode. So we may need around 2 to 4 earth electrodes connected to the neutral. So in this way after you finish the calculation please check the current density each electrode. This can prevent the failure of the electrode in the future. Thank you.